What's up everyone, I'm Grizz, and welcome back for Spy Family episode 16. Last week we completed our quest on getting a dog as Bond has joined our family. Now that the family has increased to 4, I have no idea what's going to happen. We got some different characters within the OP or ED that could make an appearance here, but overall I have no idea where we're headed at all as the arc has concluded. I think maybe we'll go back to school for Anya or continue Project Strix, but I'm not too certain. So let's just get to episode 16. Quick before the discussion, if there is no reaction portion in the YouTube video, make sure you check the description or the comments for a link for the reaction portion. It might've got blocked like the previous videos did. So it's really a great episode in my opinion. Being split into two halves, the first half being about your and learning how to cook. We basically start off with some sort of intended mystery, I guess, in a way, where your is down and Anya looks or gets a vision from the dog and sees that she's going to be crying at some point. Basically, they think the worst is happening and they show it off to you that, you know, her hands have all these scars and stuff on them. She's been coming home late. She's worried about losing her family, stuff like that. And I think it's more so trying to guide you in the direction of, hey, something's happening with work. But realistically, it's just yours down about what happened the other day when getting the the dog how lloyd wasn't with them the whole day because she still believes that he was in the bathroom the whole day due to her cooking so she wants to learn how to cook and become a better wife she seeks out the help from one of her co-workers so she's been going over her place each day in order to learn how to cook however neither her or the dude that is with them that is doing the taste testing is willing to keep putting up with it so they seek out yari which is yours little brother in order to do the, the taste testing to save themselves and their stomachs just some really fun moments throughout it with yours cooking being awful but yari loving it because he loves everything about his sister yari getting upset finding out that she's doing it to become a better wife for lloyd you're just buying random ingredients because she doesn't know what she's doing cutting up a potato and calling it calling the knife a weapon and making a mess with the potato and cutting herself and leaving blood everywhere ultimately it wraps up with your going home and offering to cook and actually having lloyd and anya really like whatever it is that she made this presents a thought in her mind of i'm in this fake family to almost protect my job the thing that basically keeps me afloat and lets me keep living but also gives me satisfaction like nothing else and being able to see something that you just put hard work into and having people that you actually care about enjoy and like something that you worked hard on or being able to just have the ability to have that effect on someone else is something that makes her overjoyed and something that might be sufficient enough that she no longer needs to continue going down that route of killing and things like that in order to make her happy which presents you for something in the future where i guess if something with her job ever gets out and it becomes a point where they become an actual family she won't have to hold on to that thought of having to keep her job anymore she can not have to do that because she's finding other things in life that are becoming more important or better off for in order to find the same exact joy that she was finding before doing this other profession something that you hope to see lloyd grow out of as well where he can maybe realize just having these people around him and having this family is so much better for him than having to worry about doing these dangerous missions all the time and put his life on the line to be able to do all of this we get split off into the second half of this episode with frankie and he finds a girl that he really likes and he collects a ton of data on her which is stalkerish and kind of creepy. Um, overall, he gets Lloyd to agree to help him, and Lloyd presents a whole bunch of options and basically a flow chart for how this conversation with him should go. And as you see here, the options just, there's too many of them. And just because Lloyd can remember literally everything and has an incredible memory doesn't mean that other people can. And Frankie completely becomes fried by that. So they basically go on a whole training work for Frankie, spend the whole night going over these different scenarios for him. Frankie shows back up at the cigar shop in order to ask her on the day. And as you can see, he completely destroys his introduction line. <laughs> and you can tell that everything that they just studied, his brain was fried. He, he didn't remember anything. On the way out, Lloyd and the family find Frankie, uh, ask him how it went. And Frankie basically makes up an excuse or a lie saying that she couldn't do like today, but it says that she'll do like another day in the future. Anya hears his thoughts and basically says, that's not true at all and frankie basically says here that all they ever care about are your looks which i guess implies that she just wasn't attracted to him enough for her to agree while drowning in his sorrows lloyd ends up 
showing up to comfort Frankie, despite just trying to pass it off as he wants to drink. This line is interesting to me, where Lloyd talks about how people like him and Frankie can't get emotionally attached to others. Basically, he's not saying that it's just not good for them, he's just saying that they literally can't. I wonder if, besides coming here just to be a good friend, Lloyd is also coming here because he He's getting too nervous that the more time he keeps spending out with his family, the more he's becoming attached. So he is trying to distance himself as much as possible. Would not be shocked if that's the case, but overall, cute moments, hilarious moments, really excellent episode. Loved every second of it. I do not have a clue as to which route we're heading now. Still not really setting anything up, but just excited to see what's to come next. I'm assuming it's been two different arcs kind of now where we haven't been back to school for Anya so I'm assuming we go back but regardless I'd be happy with whatever they decide to do that's gonna be all for me hit the like and subscribe button if you want follow me on twitter and mal links are in the description and I'll see you next week for episode 17 peace